Well, in the final hour, now that I'm in a near state of exhaustion, Frank Sinatra, the subject of our discussion, puts in an appearance with what we certainly hope will be an update. And, of course, the question uppermost in everyone's mind is, Frank, why did you leave? Well, I think I can cover that by saying that uh, pretty much what I've said in the, in the past, for instance, on, the, uh, on our TV show, I briefly got to some of the points. Which was a trip. And uh, in an interview I did for a magazine, I got to a few more. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I will try to expand a little further for you. All right. Uh, it seemed to me at the time like a good idea because I had been working for so many years, so constantly and, and so hard, you might say, uh, that I thought uh, for the moment I thought I should have some rest or possibly a permanent rest. I didn't think too much about doing that. I thought, well, it's my own doing. And then, of course, came the, uh, the good people in the picture industry who had the, had the uh, fair that they had been working on. And uh, when they got wind of it, and I said I would appear there with a lot of other performers, of course, well, they made the most of it, saying that please come and see the last performance. Well, I couldn't deny it, so I said it was the last performance. And, of course, that became, you know, blockbusting news, I suppose, around the world. I don't know why, because it's just a guy getting out. Oh, sure. But uh, then, of course, there was a little point of, uh, of being uh, a little bit weary, you might say, of, of uh, being uh, badgered and, and, uh, and uh, uh, used and, and, and uh, almost to the point of abuse by the, the literary garbage dealers in this country. So I thought, well, I might as well get out, get away from them before uh, I get too upset by them. Uh, consequently, uh, I did, but I don't think it happened. You know, it never stops. But that's, that's not what I wanted to say. That's okay. We have plenty of time. What was it you wanted to say, Frank? The point is that uh, I got out, and, I, and I, uh, I enjoyed it. You know, I must admit that I had a hell of a time. I, I like being lazy, and I'm still rather lazy. Well, I must say that's a far more comprehensive answer than the golf handicap bit you used on your return to television. Now you have a gold record already triumphant return to Las Vegas. What lies in the future for you, Frank? It's not going to be a great deal. I'll just be choosy about uh, doing a, a couple of albums a year, and possibly a few singles here and there, and maybe a TV show once in a while, but that's about all. If it, if it came to films, it would have to be something rather marvelous to do, even if it were only two minutes on the screen. Otherwise, I don't think I would become involved in a film. Well, Frank, it's obvious to me that you have been going through some changes, and I certainly have since the last time we talked. I wonder, is there a common denominator at this point between us? Well, sir, the same stuff. <laughs> Not quite. Your bottle's always labeled Jack and mine's always labeled Jim, but, Frank, I must tell you that while hoping for your arrival, I've played almost every drinking song there is. I've played one from a baby, Angel Eyes. I've played Drinking Again. But as long as you're here, I would like a musical contribution from you. Why, I would be absolutely delighted, as long as you bring the ice. Aye, the ice man cometh as thou commandeth, but what's the song? Well, let's see now. We got uh, a couple of tunes we could uh, choose from, or more than that. How about we do uh, uh, Get Happy? Maybe that's something we all need in this country because of this. He came on to help old PC put a show together. Frank Sinatra. And I certainly do not have the verbalization at my disposal to express the complete gratitude I have toward him for making an appearance on this, his program. <laughs>